Hello everybody, welcome back to the Uncerned. In the last episode, we got the Golden Shotgun. And in today's episode, we're gonna be hopefully making some progress towards the Golden Snipe Rifle. Now, what we need to do is a Horde Beacon, which is why I'm over here building. Now, you may be wondering what I am constructing right now and how this will help me. Well, this is what I call the Tower of Death. Um, you, you, well, you'll want to make sure you bring a parachute because they're going to chew through the tower. It's, it's not my fault they chew through the tower. They, they just try to get you, so yeah, this is what they're going to do. Um, Alright, we need to make some holes and some other things. So I will catch you guys once I finish building the tower, and then we can go into town, make a horde beacon, and do that today. Alright, so this tower needs to be roughly taller than those. Um, I need to test it because I want to make sure that the guys who spit can't actually spit on us. Um, I, I mean, I do have a few ladders, so I could just measure in ladders how high, or how high we're going. Um, it's probably going to be like all of those ladders is what I need. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 ah, crap. At least we're not bleeding out yet. I mean, we're gonna bleed out at some point today. It's just guaranteed. In all my episodes, I end up bleeding at some point and then dying from that. So, there we go. Take care of those guys. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah. Two more ladders tall is what it looks like. No, six more. Six more. Alright, I will see you guys then. Alright, so I'm gonna remove this floor now, and this is how I've been building it, but I remove the floor, have my parachute out, then I can just climb back up the ladder, and easy. There we go. We're already gonna be taller than the tree. We, we've already gotten way past the tree, so maybe we should be, like, at, at like, skyscraper levels, I guess, is good. Um, I, I don't really know here. I, I'm gonna presume that the taller we make this, the, the better, and also, we need to stockpile some ammo at the top, maybe bring a helicopter or something. Okay, we don't even have a helicopter. We lost the helicopter. It's, that's, that's one of the most important things to me. We, we, we don't have our helicopter. Ah, crap. Stupid, uh, what are they called? Filters. Just getting in the way. Forgetting where I placed the, the, um, the parachute. Alright, let me just chop down this tree. Our tower is looking absolutely majestic from over here. Now, I have two more ladders to use, which should be relatively tall enough. I think I've done, like, ten before. Honestly, as long as we're inside the boundaries of this area, we should be able to set up a horde beacon, and thus, it should work. Theoretically. Oh, crap. Man, this thing is a death trap, because I, I've taken out all of the floors between each level. So now whenever I fall down the, the ladder... Oh, crap. I, I really need to get the parachute key bind corrected. Ooh. Oh, crap. Getting that way... There we go. Um, yeah, so the building process is relatively simple. What I do is I come up here with a bunch of resources. I just slap them down, like that ladder. Oh, okay, uh... Do this one first, then the ladder, and then I place down a few pillars on top of the next layer. And then I can take... Oh my gosh, just just, look, just do what I'm telling you to do. There we go. Just, just, just not... <laughs> not disappear. Do normal things that ladders do, okay? Sorry, I'm talking to the ladder, if, if y'all couldn't tell. It's just not listening to what I wanted to do. Alright, um... So, we now are at the next layer. And this is the one where I'm going to place down four pillars. And I've already taken out the other layers, so we can just keep advancing forwards as is. Now, once we hit our ideal point, what I'm planning to do is set up a area above it. So I'm going to probably bridge out to the center, maybe. That way we have a little area to walk around and then shoot them. Now, they won't be able to get us up here, which is one of the advantages to this. As you can see, that is a pretty tall tower. There's one issue with it. 
and that's that the, the the spitters are gonna just destroy everything the, and all the zombies are just gonna come here they're gonna cut through this layer they're gonna this this is this, if this works I'm I'm like really gonna be surprised okay now we're gonna build a ring around the top so we're gonna collect some wood climb back up and do make some roofs I guess Alright, so as you can see, I've got this little area set up. Now, you can make your walkway as big as you want. In my case, I don't think it will need to be any bigger than this. Now, let's see if they can track us. Yes, they can. Now, let's see if they can actually get to me. No, they can't. And I think our altitude is way above theirs, so it's done. Now, the next task will be collecting some stuff we need, which is rope, um, some other stuff, and some other stuff. I don't really know what I'm collecting, but I, I know what it looks like, okay? Alright, now step one is getting rope. So if you're going to be doing this at home... Okay, yeah, I have a quest to do here as well, so I need to... Oh, come on. Just... just there we go, I think I've completed that quest now. Let me go ahead and check. Ah, crap, I need to kill one more. Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'll take care of this. Just a moment. Hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need some metal. Some... Rope is easy to find, I think. It should just be, like, lying around in this farmer location. Yeah. Oh, yes, and chemicals, of course. So, chemicals, uh, is there anything else I should craft? Um, Alright, we need... Okay, we've got a radio. We just need the three... Okay, scrap metal. Okay, yeah, that should be enough scrap metal. Yes! Um, now, I believe we can craft a rope from a few of these. Yep. So, we can get most of the stuff we need here from killing these guys. I will go ahead and take care of that. Alright, I don't think we've been in this building before. What is up here? Hello, oh yes, rope, just what we need. Um, I think we're basically done on the rope. So, one last thing that we need is, of course, what is it called? Um, oh yes, we need rubber. And rubber is easy to get from military locations, which there is one just across the street. And it's not, it's not really that far away. It's right at the mall we can get some. Hello. Sorry, I got stuck on the wall there. Um, rip. Alright, so one of the things I've been thinking about, um, and I've been forgetting to mention in all my videos, is possibly bringing back the Minecraft series once I have more time on my hands. Now, I don't have much time to do that in this series, which means I'd have to split it between the two. So, like, one day I'll make an episode of The Unturned, and the next I'll do an episode of Minecraft, probably. Now... I also would like to mention that I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, so if you'd like to come join me, I'm probably going to be playing some Halo, and if not, I will be doing um, an RTS game. Now, the reason I haven't been able to, you know, do Halo is because uh, I have to download things to make it happen, and uh, I don't really want to do any Forge stuff right now. I really just want to get... Um, get used to it again, and play some ODST. That was that was fun. I, I remember doing that last summer, so I think I'll do that this summer, too. Um, how much do we need? Are, are we done with the crafting? Uh, oh, crap. We're really short on the rope. Oh, yes, and we need ammo, too. Because if you didn't know, Horde Beacons spawn up to 100 zombies or something. It's ridiculous, and you'll need a lot of stuff for it. Now, you might want to bring healing things with you, too. Uh, in my case, I, I won't need them, because I'm too good. I'm too good. Alright, so we're down to the last few things we need, and I think 
chemicals can be obtained from mechanics. So, please be some chemicals in this mechanic store. And it looks like there is none. It's just dye. Okay, um... Downstairs, on this floor, there is a place called the medical store now maybe we can get some chemicals yes there we go now we also will want some healing items too potentially because we're probably gonna bleed to death a lot or maybe fall so might as well come prepared with a bit of stuff <laughs> man we're definitely gonna die i'm telling you every time i do something in this game it ends up with me just getting killed Somehow or another. Okay, it looks like these cars have fixed themselves. Um, what? Uh, I think another bus just spawned in. I'm a, I'm a little confused because oh yeah, okay. Oh yes, uh, I've always wanted to build a base out of cars, and I think because this is still here like this, we might actually be able to build a base out of cars at some point. So, we will have a base inside the town, made out entirely out of cars, and stuff on the cars. Alright, here we go, back to the dead zone. Now, it's gonna be night time when we get there, so I'm gonna turn on the night vision for you guys. Um, tell me guys how you like the night vision down below. I know I personally enjoy having a bit of a green hue to the game. But, uh, okay, we're out of fuel now. Um, don't worry, I, 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 I have at least 20 million liters of fuel on me. So, it should be fine. I pretty much carry all of the fuel in the world on my back at all times. Because, you never know when you're gonna get, like, just stuck on the side of the road. Because you forgot to f fill up on fuel at your base or whatever. So, it's always good to bring some with you. Alright, now I just saw our structure, and it looks amazing from the distance. Well, from a distance it looks amazing, I should say. Here we come. Take out, take him out. Oh, yes. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, okay, I think that's all of the ones who were chasing us, and uh, we're, we're ready to go. Uh... Okay, um, let's, let's keybind, what, what, stop, do the keybind, yes, eight. Oh, and this one will be nine for those, so, here goes, this is gonna be the most tense episode we've ever done. I'm up to full health, and I'm about to place down a beacon that will change everything forever. Come. Oh yes, we're, we're way above them. Ha! Take that, losers. You'll never get me. Oh, crap. Actually, uh, I take that back. Ah, crap. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Yeah, this is not good. Ah. Not good. <laughs> this is way not good. Very, very bad, actually. Um... Yes, I am not equipped to handle all of these guys at once, so... At least we know they can't get the beacon. Automatic mode. Just open fire on them. We gotta take them out, somehow. Um, and we're out of ammo. Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Let's get out our shotgun and our... Ah, crap. Oh, yes. Just in time, just in time. Uh, okay, hello. Hello, comrade. <laughs> Uh, I, I've got you. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, we should have built like 10 feet taller. Because they're. Oh crap. Hello, yes, hello. Oh yes, we need to heal. Good thing we packed some roller bandages. Okay, hello. Auto. Yes. I think we can actually take him out. I know we may be fighting overwhelming odds, but... Ah, oh, crap. That's, that hurts. Yes, it very much hurts a lot. 
if we just run around, we can uh, outrun them. But they will be going through the center at all times, which is something we need to watch out for, so... Because they will come through the center and hit us, which is going to be painful. Alright, there's one right ahead of us. No, I don't want to go through our shotgun ammo too fast because we have a limited supply and it's hard to reload it. So... Right. Uh, yes, hello. Yeah, this isn't too hard. I, I've actually... I was, I'm just adrenaline rush because it's a very difficult thing to do. To, to pay attention to- Oh crap! No! Oh. Okay, it only broke our bone. Wait, no, that's- that's bad. Uh, eight, eight. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> Good thing I packed that, because I, I forgot I put one there. Hello! Oh my god, we've got a party behind us, don't we? Uh, let's- let's clean those guys up now, shall we? Oh, he ate the floor! Our tower is still standing, and if it's still standing, we will win. You can be sh you can be certain I will win, because my tower is still here. We're running out of ammo, and very fast. Uh... Yeah, this didn't go to plan, I think next time I'll definitely make some changes to the tower. Okay, we are out of ammo in that gun, so time to use this one. We need to clear them out, and fast, because I don't really want to be reloading in the middle of a battle with them. How, how do I go about doing that, even? Wait. No, there's no way we can even do that. I really do want to try to... No. The, it's a risk I'm going to have to take at some point. Because I'm, I'm guaranteed to have, like... Yeah, I, I, I've got, like... Well, no, that's one zombie for every eight rounds, so I'm... I'm pretty good, I think. I mean, I, I did math in the middle of this battle right here, which is the most epic battle we've ever fought in all of our unturned episodes. Ah. Oh crap, I heard you. Yes, uh, we need to outrun them again. So, nine roller bandage. Uh, I need more roller bandages with me. Because we're gonna die. Fast. Very fast. Um, yeah. How many do I have to fight? Ah, oh, crap. The mega zombies here? Okay, well, once we clear out all of the other guys, we're good to go. Oh, this makes it all way harder. Um, if only I had, I had a, like, a teammate... <laughs> Just to uh, help me take out the slightly annoying ones. Okay, um, ammo, go. I did it, I did it. I got some more ammo in the machine gun, which is good because I'll be able to take them out from a range now. I'm not going to waste it, though. I need to take out specifically the ones. Ah, crap. Crap. You will never catch me. Ah. I must win! You will never defeat me! Yes! <laughs> I can hear all of them, but they will never beat me because I have the tower still. Oh my god! What the heck happened to the tree? You will never defeat me. Victory will come because it will. Wait, do they just keep spawning in? Uh, this is uh, so painful. Sorry, I'm, I'm making strange noises. I, I need to focus here. If we can get them at a good enough distance to where I can actually reload my gun with... Okay, crafts. Reload, reload. Boom. There we go. Ha! This is not ideal. I should have brought more ammo and been more ready to do this, but... 
I'm gonna be switching to semi-automatic mode now, so that way I can take him out a bit better with some headshots. If we can kill the Mega as well, that would be a wonderful thing, but I doubt it. No, we should take the smaller ones out first, and yes, that, that that's the best idea. Now, the amount of ammo we're going to be going through is incredible. Okay, I noticed that they're going through the center, and the, the flankers are going around the outside, actually chasing after me. Now, we need to pay attention because the mega zombie is probably in front of us somewhere. Okay, yeah, I see where he's at because I saw the projectile he's throwing. Okay, yeah, he is coming towards me now. Uh, how much ammo do I have? I have a full clip of this, so... What if we just start throwing grenades at them? I think that is an option as well. If we can get a good distance, I could theoretically... Let's check. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, here, have a, have a bomb. How many do I have? I should have, like, 50 of them. Okay, we're at a range where I can actually get the guys with my shotgun. Yeah, it's not very good at this range. Oh crap, yeah, and we gotta be careful because we might run into the walls at this distance. It's a good thing we thinned out the herd a bit because now I actually can see there's just spitters left. And they are not a challenge at all. Craft. I heard a mega zombie throw something at me. I can hear him throwing at me. Ah, oh my god, we almost got hit. If we get hit, we're dead. We're dead. Just, we're done if we get hit. Yeah, I'm shooting the mega zombie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can now hear him. He's, he's right up on me. It's like, um, this kind of reminds me of, like, the, the, um, survival mode on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, if anybody knows that. Um, because I, I'm running from something that's way more powerful than me, certainly. And, uh, it's probably an, an indefinite thing. How many do I have? I have one. One clip left in this gun, so I should definitely focus on getting those headshots in on the the lesser zombies. And in the center we have a horde of crawlers, which is another issue. Oh, he's stuck in the tree! Oh, crap. 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 Yeah, he's, he's chasing me now. So the question is, how long can I run from him? And the answer is yes, I can. Forever. Ah, you think you can just you can uh, defeat me? But I have I have the ultimate weapon here. I have the submachine gun sniper rifle. I killed him. Oh yes, <laughs> that makes it easy. So all we have to do is not die to those guys. I can't even see where they're at. They're just spitting everywhere. Okay, let's take care of them by going around... Yeah, there's probably a million crawlers in there. I don't really want to go with that. Um, if we go this way, I can actually get a good view on them. So, yeah, they're going to be trying to hit where I was previously at as well. Let's go ahead and charge them. Be careful of where they're spitting. Oh, I think we took care of all of them. And now it's just these guys. And there's a lot of them, so... It's a good thing we brought the right weapons for the job this time. Instead of like last time when I just brought a pistol and another thing. We're good to go. I'm out of ammo in the shotgun, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to go through the center here and reload... 
This is not an issue. Oh, okay. I don't know where I got the ammo from, but I guess it works. Haha, -ha, I've won! I've beaten the quests! Basically. <laughs> Relatively, um, beaten it. I hear more, and I'm a little scared to find out if they're... Oh, I heard another one on that side. Um... We did it! We completed the quest! Oh, oh, yes! Horde beacon drops! Um... What did we get? So, everything is gonna be up there once you complete your horde beacon. Now, our tower survived through all of it, which is the ultimate sign of engineering efficiency. Let us see what we have done today. What have we gotten ourselves? We got a drill. Oh, we got a Mosca. Oh, it's got some, some attachments on it. So, it's, is that like the best attachments we can get? Oh, we've gotten... We have to carry all of this back to base with us. Don't worry, I got a plan. Alright, here we go. I dropped all the stuff on the ground by breaking the floor and then replacing the floor. Which seems to have, um, made the drill roll away almost, but here is all of our stuff. So, we have a thick military vest, some military stuff, some thick military backpacks, some high caliber boxes. Are those only high caliber, or did we get any low caliber? Yes, we got two low caliber boxes. Um, we got a detonator. That's good. Um, oh, yes, we got gunpowder. I don't know. Oh, yeah. We can make tank shells with that, which next time uh, I could put a tank up there, like upside down, and then have its gun through the floor so that way I could use the tank's turret as a method of killing the mega zombie. Which I, I could have killed him at the end. Probably. That, that would have worked um, as a strategy. Is to clear all the other zombies and then save the mega for last is probably the best way to go about it. Especially since... I, I mean, he's not that hard to defeat. It takes like a few shots to the head. Um... Alright, we should just be able to carry the rest of this back to base. Alright, so I just now realized that we additionally got this thing. <laughs> what? What is this? This is like an extra long um, assault rifle magazine, which holds extra bullets. And our drill, let's, let's go ahead and show off the drill. Wonderful noise it makes. Let's go ahead and test it. Oh yes. Oh yes, good. This is going to be so satisfying for me to run around with. Oh, wait. I wonder how effective this is as a weapon. I'm assuming it's probably just going to destroy anything it touches. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it, it's so powerful you can't carve pumpkins with it. So, that's, that's a good news. Or a good sign, I guess. I should say. Um, anyway, I'm going to be dumping off some more of my stuff. Specifically, the things that I really don't care about. Alright, so, um, I've basically ran out of time for today's episode. Doing all of our quests and stuff. So, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider... Um... Alright, so if you've enjoyed today's episode, pre please, please consider liking and subscribing it really helps out the channel and also if you if you have any suggestions for next time please leave those in the comment section down below because you should and you should also do other stuff in the comment section because why not it helps out youtube uh, or at least me it, and i guess it could help youtube if they're okay i don't know um i'll see you guys next time and goodbye